morning and thank you for joining us. Our morning outlook will focus on the euro dollar, recent developments and the potential impact on the markets. Let's hear from Greg in our trading room. The last session saw the euro gain 0.8% against the dollar. The MACD is giving a negative signal. The dollar yen pair saw a minor dip of 0.1% in the last session. According to the ultimate oscillator, we are in an overbought market. The gold rose 0.6% against the dollar in the last trading session. The stochastic indicator is giving a positive signal, which matches our overall technical analysis. The last session saw Tesla's stock fall 1.7%. The ultimate oscillator is giving a negative signal. Thank you for your insightful trading ideas. Moving on to world headlines. The dollar began the month on a strong footing as a higher for longer US rate scenario took center stage, while the Aussie slid after a raft of economic data pointed to a slowing economy and signs that inflation might be past its peak. China's factory activity has expanded at the fastest rate in more than a decade, as the world's second largest economy staged what economists are calling a very rapid rebound after reopening from zero COVID. Since the start of the year, prominent forecasters have become more confident the US Federal Reserve and other central banks can engineer a soft landing for the global economy or even avoid a cyclical slowdown altogether. Thank you for this. Now coming up, today's major economic event. The US initial jobless claims will be released at 1330 GMT, the US unit labor costs at 1330 GMT, the Eurozone's harmonized index of consumer prices at 1000 hours GMT. The French 10Y bond auction will be released at 0950 GMT. Japan's unemployment rate at 2330 GMT. Japan's jobs applicants ratio at 2330 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to log in tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.